The time has finally arrived after months of waiting. The Premier League is back and we are back too with our Premier League predictions. If you want to get involved, then head over to superbrew.com at the end of this video. Details of which are in the description. But let's not beat around the bush. Let's get straight into it and make our predictions. So first up, we have the 8 o'clock on Sky between Burnley and Man City. Now, Man City coming off the back of a Community Shield loss. And it's just written in the stars for them to have on penalties as well. Um, it's just written in the stars for them to uh, start off the Premier League season really strongly as well. Burnley coming up with that momentum from the Championship as well. However, I just think first game of the season also... Still no Nathan Teller replacement or him coming back to the club yet. Um, I can see it just Man City walking over them 3-0. Yeah, this is builders Vincent Company against Pep Guardiola, isn't it? Manchester City have beaten Burnley 11 times in their 11 matches against them. Scoring 29 goals and just the one goal against them. Everything points to a Manchester City win. However, newly promoted teams often at home with the crowd behind them often do quite well. However, playing the champions in Manchester City didn't look that great I thought against Arsenal on the weekend but it's the Premier League it's back I fully expect Manchester City to win this one 2-0 Moving on to the first of the Saturday matches, which take place at half past 12 on Saturday. We've got Arsenal coming up against Nottingham Forest last season. Arsenal won this fixture 5-0. They've got a massive array of attacking and talent. We know that Jesus is out injured, but they can call on the likes of uh, new signing Kai Havertz, who's just come in from mm -hmm. Chelsea. Mind, he hasn't been great in pre-season. No, and whether he plays as the number nine, we don't know. Trossard's been uh, a bit of a revelation mm -hmm. throughout pre-season. The likes of Martinelli, Saka, Odegaard, etc, 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 can score goals. So, I fully expect Arsenal to win this fixture, but I do fancy Nottingham Forest to get a goal, even though the uh, the rear guard of this Arsenal team looks pretty good. I'm going to go for a free one home win. Interesting. I'm going to knock a goal down and go two one. I think Forest they can have a much better start to the season starts the season than they did last season as well. But to be honest, Arsenal going to come out the gate strong and I think they're going to do it with a solid victory so 2-1 okay so next up we have Bournemouth up against West Ham first of the three o'clocks now Bournemouth Ariola new manager in charge it's interesting to see how he starts the season along with West Ham coming off the back of a conference league win however losing Declan Rice and not really replacing him as of yet I think is going to hinder him a little bit but I think they might have a slowish start and I think Bournemouth are going to press on quite well to be honest so at the moment I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw yeah, I've seen a lot of people tipping Bournemouth the cherries in this one, either to win or gain a draw. The reverse fixtures last season saw West Ham win both fixtures, and I think it was it was 4-0 and 2-0 in both of those games. But as you say, Declan Rice missing, haven't really replaced him. Bournemouth, new manager, they, they ended the season really badly though, the mm. cherries, so they'll want to get off on the front foot at home and I'm actually going to tip the Cherries to win this one I'm going to go for 2-1 home victory they've actually brought in some really really good players and I'm really excited to see them mm -hmm. next up we've got Brighton coming up against another of the newly promoted clubs and that's Luton Town uh, Luton okay they brought in quite a few players most of them are sort of championship standard at the moment mm -hmm. but really good championship standard um, really good to see what Ryan Giles can he make the step up to the Premier League I'm really excited to see what Carlton Morris and Adebayor can do for the Hatters mm -hmm. as well at this level ha level however Brighton at home they brought in new recruits after the, the loss of McAllister to Liverpool I can see goals in this one Joe Pedro coming up from the uh, championship as well and I'm going to go for a free one home victory to Brighton. I think this can actually be a slight affair considering it is Luton's first game in, mm. in the top flight since about the 1990s, 1980s. 100% up for it. Brighton, um, not re just kind of average form both home and away, of obviously finishing in the European spots last season. Um, 
Luton can see him scoring, but I just think Brighton have a little bit too much, so 2-1. Next, we've got Everton up against Fulham. Now, it's so hard to even predict which Everton team we're going to see here. Is it going to be the Everton team that was solid under Sean Dyche, nicking very, very clean results? Or is it going to be the Everton that is completely shambolic in defence and cannot hit a barn door up front? I think Fulham will have a nice start. Yeah, and I can see him picking up all three at Goodison, so 2 0. Yeah, they actually won this fixture last season 3 1. However, this is the final opening day fixture at Goodison Park that they'll see. So their fans will want to leave Goodison Park on a high and then want to start on this opening weekend. Fulham, lots of talent throughout their squad. Calvin Lewin's missing. And we've got the, the likes of a Wobie going forward, etc. So Not much. I can see both teams scoring, but I think they'll cancel each other out. So I'm going to go for a 1-1 one, one draw. Next up, we've got Sheffield United, the last of the promoted clubs taken on Crystal mm -hmm. Palace. Sheffield United not blessed with real goal threat in front of goal. Brewster, Oliver McBurney... Yeah, that says it all, really. Crystal Palace, okay, lost a couple of players himself. I think Olusi is out injured. Zaha, gone off to Turkey. It all really falls onto with the shoulders, really, of um, Eze, etc. So, I don't think Palace will concede in this one. Sheffield United, I'm going to score. They'll get a goal. It'll probably remain tight until near the end. Sheffield United want to get a, an equaliser and I think ca Crystal Palace will capitalise and I can see them winning 2-0. Interesting. With some of the Palace injury issues that you just mentioned, I think this is probably the best time to play a Sheffield United squad which is looking so thin at the moment and in fact probably the most thinnest uh, squad that has been promoted in years. And I think you've got to say that over the likes of Huddersfield, Blackpool and even that shocking Derby team as well. Um, but I think Crystal Palace, big and 100% sneak a victory here. However, I think it's only going to be by the one and I think they'll keep clean sheets so 1-0 you could be right because it is at home at Bramall Lane first match after they go they got promoted so it's going to be a red hot atmosphere and uh, maybe they can get at Palace yeah exactly anyway moving on to the half past five at Sky this is going to be a goal fest Newcastle against Aston Villa Aston Villa built an incredible squad in the summer Newcastle bringing in the likes of Tonali and just Harvey Barnes squad strength incredible midfield incredible going forward incredible goals 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 is going to happen here 2-2 two, 2-2 two. Two, two, yeah. yeah. all last season uh, Newcastle won this fixture 4-0 it was 3-0 at Villa Park uh, Newcastle picking up in pre-season thumping Villarreal 4-0 a couple of goals from Harvey Barnes in that fixture I'm really excited to see how Diaby gets on for Aston Villa there'll be plenty of pace in that side if he and Leon Bailey start on, on the weekend Villa in the Premier League haven't won in five away matches so I'm actually going to tip Newcastle to win this one and they'll get off to a, a good start with a 2-1 home victory. Next up we got the first of the Sunday fixtures where at 2 o'clock we got Brentford take on Spurs. Now interestingly I was looking at the stats on this fixture and Brentford haven't actually beaten Tottenham at home since 1948. They haven't played each other that much mm -hmm. though but uh, it's uh, yeah, a bit of a stat to take in consideration. Of course we've got Ivan Tony missing but uh, Brentford always find the diamond in the rough, don't they? And mm -hmm. um, whether one of those new Catonians can make a difference, we shall see. However, I think Madison making his debut for Spurs on the weekend, I can see him getting involved there. Like Sasson will want to have a better season than he did last year, so I can see this one ending up as a 1 1 draw. Interesting. I think Spurs are just going to edge it a little bit. Obviously, Postacoglu's first game in charge. Yes. He's going to give them a really good start, I think. So, I'm probably going to edge it 2-1 to Spurs. Moving on to the half past four. Interesting one this one. Chelsea against Liverpool. Both teams commencing some massive rebuilds. More so to Chelsea than Liverpool, considering the amount of players out the door as well. Including oh, like the revolving players. Door, isn't it? Whereas Liverpool has mostly just been the midfield. That has evolved a little bit. I do think there's one addition that is needed as well there. However, I think Chelsea... Chelsea are going to have slow starts to the season because there are so many void gaps that need to be filled there and I think it's just going to take time to gel under Pochettino so I'm going to 3-1 Liverpool Wow 3-1 Liverpool 3-1 Liverpool If that's the case then that will only be the second victory in the last 10 matches um, it's one out of nine for them at the moment mm -hmm. there's actually been four nil-nil 
score lines in the last four matches as well. So will they score a goal? I'm really interested to see the likes of Nicholas Jackson in action. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see as well Mudrich how he fares this is going to be a second season at Chelsea as well Liverpool with their new recruits this is going to be a really interesting game to watch however I think they will cancel each other out I think they'll get a goal each though because uh, that rear guard of Liverpool's <laughs> isn't looking mm -hmm. the best at the moment so I'm going to go for a 1-1 one, one scoreline and the final fixture of game week one sees Manchester United take in on Wolves on Monday evening Wolves as an outside looking in total disarray there at Molyneux uh, I can only see one winner in this one I'm going to go for a Manchester United 3-0 win new goalkeeper mm -hmm. solid defence and a very very good midfield yeah 3-0 to the Red Devils well put it this way we don't even know who's going to be in charge of Wolves no. this weekend because it looks like Lopetegui is asking to terminate his contract he wants to be out of the door from there so who's it going to be is it going to be Lopetegui inside in charge or as everyone's reporting is Gary O'Neill going to take over which wow. I think would be a disaster of a move considering he has it worked out at Bournemouth not so much of a shambolic Wolves so yeah Man United 3-0 they're going to want to get a really good start to the season of course Anana's come in um, got solid strength all over the pitch Holland, not sure if he's going to start this Mason weekend Mount. he might be injured uh, Mount needs a good start especially after a poor pre-season so yeah oh, he's got a few goals nil. didn't he he did but a few mistakes as well mm -hmm. you could say okay fantastic thank you Nathan and thank you everyone for watching our first video of the new season Remember, as I said, get involved by heading over to superbrew.com, signing up and taking on myself and Nathan in the Predictions League. Also, I'm running a fantasy football league. Yet again, link in the description and the code for that as well. So make sure you uh, take us on in that one. Now, Nathan, before we go, is there anything you'd like to add? Return of the vlogs. Perhaps. Yeah, return of the vlogs. Got two coming up this week. Subscribe and link in the description below. Brilliant. Thanks for now. Have a great opening Premier League weekend and we'll see you all in the next video. Six shots, yeah, straight to the face And I wanna get lost, I'm sick of this place Don't know how to stop when I'm feeling this way So I'm taking six shots till I'm feeling okay I think I'm going crazy Don't think I'll get on safe So I'm taking six shots all straight to the face I'm taking six